Hi everyone, welcome to your Tuesday hip camp. Okay, we're gonna be doing an upper body focus workout. Um, there's quite a bit of cardio work in there too, so looking forward. Without further ado, um, let me get you explained on what equipment you're gonna to need today. Okay, so for today's workout, we're gonna be doing chest, back, shoulders, biceps, triceps. Um, I'm going to be using two same weighted kettlebells um, for my bicep curls and for my rows um, for my back. You're going to need two similarly weighted, um, it can be dumbbells or kettlebells. Um, I have two slightly lighter dumbbells, they're actually three kilograms. The reason uh, I have these is for my lateral raises. This can be quite hard to do with heavier weights. So I prefer to go lighter and execute with perfect form. And then I have a single weight, um, which I'm gonna use for our inward hammer curls, okay? It's a little bit lighter than the kettlebells. I'm going to be using eight kilograms for my curls, um, the, the standard curls, but then for the hammer curls, which are single arms, single arm move, I'm gonna only be using five kilograms because I will probably experience some sort of exhaustion by this, the time I get to that set. So, um, the other thing is that I'm going to be needing a bench or a step. Um, you can use your couch if you have a really sturdy chair or even your bed will work. What we're gonna be doing on the bench is box hops, so coming all the way up. Um, and landing on the box. So that's the second last thing we need. I'm also, I've got a little stool, um, which I'm gonna use for the tricep dips, but you're not gonna have to use that. You could use books, a little stool. Um, um, hmm. Yeah, that's like anything that you can elevate your feet, your heels on. So, Okay, so that's what we're gonna be needing. Okay, we're gonna start with a warm up, just to get us lubricated and ready for our workout, okay? So, starting with side to side reaches. Straight to the back leg, squeeze that glute, and really reaching, stretch out that back. Um, yeah, a puppy, a 
child, <laughs> whatever you have on hand and is willing. <laughs> so, you're going to come into, your feet are pointing outwards, okay? And they're really nice and wide. You're going to come into a plie squat, press out and back in, okay? So come into plie squat, press in and out. Straightforward and simple. What I want you to watch for when you're doing your squat, coming low, is that you're not rounding the back. You're not coming down here and pressing forward, okay? So open up the shoulders back and down, scooping the belly button, nice and low, press out and in, stand up. When you come to your standing position, driving through the heels, engaging the lower, I mean the glute and the hamstring. That's the first move. Second move, a walk out into a push-up. But we're gonna do four push-ups, okay? So you're gonna start the standing, you're gonna bend the knees to come down to make contact with the floor. Walk the hands out into your plank. For some of you, you'll do your push-ups here. So one, two, three, four, <laughs> or you can come to the knees and do four push-ups there. It's entirely up to you. What I want to make sure is that you have this beautiful plank position from the crown of your head all the way to your knees. So you're not, you're not packing the bum out. You're not sagging over here, coming down this way. The whole body is traveling in a straight line, okay? So that's the second move. Third move, box jumps, okay? So for intermediates advice, which most of you are, you're gonna start right next to a box or your couch or bed. And all you're gonna do is swing arms back, coming into a small squat. Use the momentum, exhale, land in a squat on the box. Step it back down, okay? So for the beginners, the alternative, if you get too tired with jumps, you can simply step up, and step down, okay? Step up and step down, okay? Um, those are our first exercises. Starting in 10 seconds.
I'm doing push ups on my knees now. Let's go. Walk it up. I'm going to my knees. You can do your plank push ups. Back into the plank. Walk it back. Up. Back down. Plank. I'm on my knees. Your hips 
are jutting out and backwards. So your, your balance is pretty good, pretty decent here in the center. You've got the weights in hand and you're going to roll the arms out to the sides, okay? Out to the sides. I'll demo from this angle so you see what I'm talking about. Scoop the belly button nice and low. Exhale to the side and down. Okay, you've got an overhand grip. Every time you raise the weights up, suck the belly button up towards the ceiling. Nice little abdominal workout at the same time. That's the first move. Second set or second exercise. Got my lighter weights. I'm in the same position. Instead of coming up to this angle, I'm going to raise out to the side. They're flies. You're flying the arms out. Now you'll notice when I'm demonstrating, because I'm looking at you on the screen, my head is tilted up in this position because I'm looking forward at you. When you do it, turn the head downwards so the crown of the head is in line with your tailbone. It helps to keep your trachea open, helps the breath flowing really nicely so you get through the move with more ease. So that's the second move. Third move, we're gonna do shuffle walks and then a lovely tuck jump. Okay, so we're gonna go into a small squat. Nice and small sets, one, two, three. When you get to the third step, I want you to pop up, tuck the knees in, okay? For some of you, this is gonna be really intense, not your thing yet. The alternative, when you get to that third shuffle, arms go up overhead, tuck, tuck, okay? So low, two, three, either tuck jump or tuck, tuck, okay? Don't use me as your pacing. Do your own pace. This is your own intensity, mine is unique to me, okay? If you can go faster, harder, higher, do it. Don't use me as your mark. We have two different, totally different fitnesses, okay? So, use yours, find your intensity. Okay, so we're gonna get started with that set. Okay, so we're starting in about 30 seconds. I can't say it's my favorite music, but you know, what can we do? Working with YouTube playlists. belly button in towards the spine. Let's go. Okay. Don't let the gravity pull the weight down. Resist the gravity as the weights are coming down. Inhale down, exhale to do the hard part of the move. Good work. Okay. Flies coming up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Fly. Control it down. Focus on is your breath and 
Good work. Okay. Second set, rest off of it. Forty seconds. Enjoy your rest. Get some water. The point of hit. Drive that heart rate up and recover. Keep going up and down. So enjoy your rest. You deserve it.
one down, third coming up. So, we're gonna be doing a shoulder focus. I know you felt your shoulders. So let's see how it goes. You can downgrade your resistance, use lighter weights, or no weights at all. To be honest with you, you might see me doing that. <laughs> okay, so our first move is a split squat with a shoulder press, okay? So, splitting the feet apart. You'll see my pubic bone will travel down, down the center between my two feet, okay? The two weights are at your shoulders. You inhale to come down, you exhale to press up and over, okay? What you're really gonna watch for in this move is when you're pressing, Woo it's quite easy when you're coming up to hyperextend the back and reach those arms backwards. Try to draw the navel in and press up overhead, okay? That's the first move. Second move, same weights. So, weights are right in front of you. You're gonna exhale to raise one arm, okay? So that the arm is parallel to the ground. Inhale down, other arm. Okay, so you're alternating front raises. Third move, we're gonna do high knees. A lot of you know this move. So, scooping in the belly button, running those knees up. For the advice, float the arms up. Really good core engagement. Okay, third round, give it our best and try to have some fun with it. We're gonna start in 30 seconds. Obviously, this next set, other foot is in front for the 
split squat. Okay, so 10. Give it your best, okay? Split squat, coming down and press up and over. I'm moving backwards a bit because I keep knocking my lamp.
muscle group groups of the upper body, biceps, triceps, but equally as important, okay? Don't give up now. Push through. Um, we're gonna start with bicep curls. I said I was gonna use eights. I'm using fives. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so you'll notice my hands are gripping underneath and the, the elbows are in at the side. At no point during a bicep curl should your arms slide backwards or forwards. As if they are pinned into your waist, they stay here the whole way through. So, shoulders back and down. Scoop the belly button in. And exhale to curl up. Inhale, down. When you're releasing down, you don't want to have a full extend, extension, okay? Leave the elbows soft at the bottom. Pause there, exhale, back up again, okay? Um, another thing about a bicep curl is your stance. You want to make sure that you have a slight bend at the ankle and the knees and the hips. You're not up, stick straight. The reason for this is if you stick straight, it's easy to take momentum up. When you bend a little bit, it breaks that kinetic chain. So you're just focusing on that one single area. Nothing else should be moving, okay? That's the first move. Second move, we're gonna do tricep dips. So, for beginners, you're gonna come to your chair, your couch, your bed, bench, whatever you have, and you're going to just push your bum off of the bench. You're not going far forward, okay? Your bum should just be able to pass by the bench, okay? What you're doing is hands flat onto the bench. You're going to bend the elbows, bringing the bum towards the floor so that your arms create a 90 degree angle. Exhale, back up. You wanna make sure you don't sit on the floor, you're not coming all the way down, hanging out, and then pressing back up again. Okay, quite the contrary. You're pausing at that hardest part of the, of the movement and exhaling, coming all the way back up again. For intermediates advanced, you're so welcome to enhance the move, raise the feet a little bit, coming even deeper, okay? Engaging more of the core. Entirely up to you. That's the uh, second move. So the one bicep, one tricep move. And then a cardio move. We're gonna do bench hops. I'm gonna use this for the bench hops, just cause easy to demo. So you can use a little step, or a bench, or um, a chair, quite honestly. But the idea is, uh, let me demo the idea of it. The idea is that you actually have a bench like this. That's why they're called bench hops. Okay, so what you want to visualize is that your hands are on the stool or on the step or the chair and your weight is going to come up and over the hands over there. Okay, and what you're trying to do is to hop the feet up and over the bench. So coming down into a small squat, exhaling, landing softly on the other side, over, okay? But most of us don't have benches like this at home, so that doesn't mean we don't get to do the move. So I'm using this step, I'm on the side as if there was a bench over here, and I'm tucking up, over to the other side, and over. Okay? If you don't have a little stool or chair, you can even do this on the ground. When we taught hit camp uh, at the field, on the grass, with no benches, very little equipment, we did it just like this. Hands on the ground, coming up, you're going to come down, over to the other side, landing. Okay? So, if you find that's too intense, or actually what usually happens for me, halfway through the set, my quads are on fire. So what I end up doing is 
Downgrading the move to steps. Coming down, up, over, okay? So that's our cardio move. This is our fourth round. Let's bang it out of the park. Get done with this workout. Okay, we're starting in 30 seconds. Bicep curls. I'll try my eights. 10 seconds. I'll have these ready in case. Let's go. Only 30 seconds here.
And we're not all strong, guys. You're doing great. Pace yourself. If you need to slow down, you should be hitting those biceps by now. Okay, so those are the three moves 
We're starting in a couple of seconds. 10 seconds.
Try to suck the belly button in. Draw the shoulders down, relax the neck and face. up until now just stay with it recommit to the workout remember why you're here it helps so much um, we're gonna get this done and then I'll stretch you out directly okay good work guys okay Okay, 
hips facing forward. You're going to keep them facing forward, but your upper body is twisting to take a look behind you. Really feeling that beautiful stretch along the obliques and the back. Back to center, other side. Pay attention to your heart rate and your breath. Notice how quickly it starts to come down. Enjoy that, okay? Opening to the side, I want you to reach up and over. Obliques opening up, armpit, shoulder, back. Even the hip a little bit, exhale. Take a little look at the ceiling. Notice that beautiful stretch down the side. Exhale. Good work. Shoulders. One arm comes up. Keep the shoulder low. Really easy to want to raise that shoulder up. Really draw it down to your scapula, which is this shoulder bone or blade. You want to pull it down. Really retracting it, okay? And from this position, you're going to exhale to draw the shoulder, I mean the arm, across the body. You're going to feel those shoulders saying thank you. Don't forget to breathe. Often our thinking is really slow at this time. Enjoy that awareness, that presence. For some of us, it's the only time in the day that we get to be so centered. And release. Our hands are intertwining behind the back. I'm drawing the shoulders back and down, okay? And then, I'm as if the skin on my chest, I'm trying to stretch it. So my chest is really opening up. See? And gently looking, chin towards the corner of the ceiling. to the mat or the floor. So I'm going to place my arm out to the side and all I'm going to do is gently drop my ear as if towards the ground, gently and looking in the opposite directions, gently feeling that chest opening up so nicely. Twisting the body in the opposite direction. Other side. Dropping down and then twisting and looking towards the ceiling in the opposite direction. Exhale. We'll do some cat cows. So the cat likes to round its back. Really creating a nice, beautiful arch. Um, don't worry if yours doesn't look like mine. Mine is not exemplary. <laughs> if you get a better arch, go for it, okay? So you're drawing in, tucking the tailbone, pushing away from the ground. Inhaling, coming towards flat back, and then cow. It's horns rearing up, and the hips, okay? So, exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, follow your breath. favorite 
Good move, spy. Shona Kion is featured over here in Pulse. Uh, is, I think she calls it Wag the Dog. Really a very nice move. Um, so again, wrists are stacked, or shoulders are stacked over the wrists, hips over knees. You're going to tilt the hips in towards the side as if you're wagging your tail. So I'll demonstrate that side. So tucking, and you're looking back towards your tail. And inhale back to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale to center. One more time on each side. Child's pose. You can open your knees to the side of the mat, I mean, side of the mat, unless you have multiple mats, I guess. Feet are going directly underneath your hips. And you're going to walk the hands forward and place your forehead down onto the ground. Feel that opening in the hips, quadriceps. Feel the lower back, middle back, sides of the back, upper back. With every breath, actively soften yourself. Less holding, more giving. Closer together, parallel to one another, the upper arms. Placing the hands together in a prayer position, and bringing that prayer, those prayer hands up overhead. You can push those elbows forward and push the armpits closer towards the ground, if you can, and you'll feel that stretch going into the triceps really nicely. Slowly release them. Gently come up. Good work, everyone. I look forward to seeing you next week for your upper body hip count. Please note that Seno is teaching Thursday's lower body this week. Okay. Good work, everyone. Bye.